Hello guys, this is Paul Moscar from Laravel Daily Video Channel again. Today's topic is kind of a rant, uh, maybe some angry voice uh, from me, but maybe partly because I didn't sleep well tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, let's talk about shared hosting and Laravel. More and more I see people online asking how do I install Laravel on my shared hosting or even R2 Quick Admin Panel, how do I install Quick Admin Panel on shared hosting? Uh, and uh, it's a wrong question to ask. Why do you use shared hosting? I mean, um, shared hosting usually means that you don't have uh, SSH access and you have to upload the project via FTP or SFTP and via a tool like phpMyAdmin or SQL Pro uh, upload the database. So basically you don't have any access to uh, command line or terminal uh, commands like composer install you have to manually deal with vendor folder uh, then you need to manually run migrations so you cannot run artisan commands like artisan migrate or seed or cache or, or whatever so basically you don't you, you lose all the beauty of the framework so why would you do that it's like it's like asking how do I how do I go 100 miles with a bike instead of a, instead of a Ferrari or how do I install the latest applications on iPhone 1? I'm pretty sure it's possible, but why? So uh, the arguments for shared hosting from what I know, uh, from what I, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> what I hear from people, first thing, uh, dedicated servers are more expensive. Already not, not anymore. Um, you, can you can get DigitalOcean box for $5 a month, or Linode or AWS. Well, AWS is a little more expensive, but still the prices are pretty cheap. Uh, argument number two is it's difficult to um, to maintain to install stuff on dedicated servers. Again, not anymore with DigitalOcean. You just choose what kind of box you have. You get the access, and then there's a little configuration for like domain and stuff. But it's it's really simple things to learn if that's your problem. Uh, problem number three with shared hosting, like argument, is uh, my client has shared hosting account and they don't want to move uh, anywhere else. Guess what? It's a bad client there. I mean, if the client doesn't uh, trust you with your technical decisions and want to remain on their shared hosting just because they have like ten dollar contract, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of a red flag for me. Uh, you should be the one who di who dictates the technical decisions, including hosting. But by the way, in terms of hosting, uh, my advice would be not to host actually a client's project on your hosting, meaning uh, you shouldn't own the DigitalOcean account. It should belong to the client, but then the client should give access to you. Or you set up the account and then give uh, access, uh, give the, the credentials to the client. But either way, I mean, the arguments for shared hosting are not that relevant anymore. Of course, there's another side of the story. There are shared hosting providers who do give some SSH access, uh, but then it is pretty limited from what I've heard. Haven't used, maybe there are, maybe I'm wrong here, maybe there are shared hosting providers who give like full SSH access with all the commands, uh, with all the like access to install libraries, install packages, uh, do whatever you want with your Linux machine, maybe then that's fine, uh, then I get that. But uh, otherwise, if you don't have full access to your Linux machine to do to install anything you want basically, because Laravel projects sometimes need libraries, for example, if you want to launch like Laravel Dusk, you have to have access to some Linux stuff and, and Chrome drivers. Uh, so yeah, I mean, so, someone should someone should kill probably shared hosting, I would say, but uh, not kill in terms of uh, in general, but kill for Laravel or for Symfony or for any modern framework because uh, uh, modern tools require modern hosting and it is SSH and it is, well, I'm telling SSH, but uh, what I mean here is you have to have full permission and full control over your machine or your server. Otherwise, uh, don't even start with Laravel or, or Symfony. Uh, so these are my thoughts. Do you guys use shared hosting and why? And maybe it is good for you, good enough for you. Maybe I'm wrong here uh, or 
have you heard any other stories of people complaining about uh, about not using dedicated servers because of reason X and what is the reason? Reply in the comments and let's discuss. But I hope that uh, in modern world, uh, like there will be less and less shared hosting questions in Laravel world. See you in the next videos of Laravel Daily Channel.